for the mañana. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia No Comienzo. Welcome NBC Church visitors and all of you joining us by audio and video. Yeah. Amen. God wants to bless you. God has a great message for you. And we just have to receive. And it's yeah. for me. Nobody else. It's for you. Amen. Yes. So we're going to be talking about surrender, being surrendered, <coughs> submitted, and committed to uh -huh. him. Amen. He wants to use us. All we have need to do, we've been talking about being available. Uh -huh. Make yourself available to him. Amen? Amen. But we have to be totally surrendered. We need to be solely committed and totally uh, submitted and committed. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. Mm -hmm. Grab your Bibles. Yes. Amen. Just like a good soldier of God. Uh -huh. Say it like I mean the church. Amen. Let's make this declaration together. Yes. It's up here on the board. So let's read it. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today I'll be talking about God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Give it up, give it up there, Carmen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. If you've never been told, know this. The battlefield is divine. Yes, it is. You think all kinds of things. But it's up to me a child of God mm -hmm. to renew my mind yeah. to what the Word of God says. Yeah. Otherwise, you're bombarded with negative things uh -huh. daily yeah. and you're going to start thinking negative things. Oh, yeah. Amen? So we got to stay positive yes, in a do. negative world. Yes. And how do we do that? By reading the Word of God and renewing our, our minds with yes. the Word of God. So the battlefield is the mind and guess yes, who else is. knows? The enemy. Mm -hmm. the enemy is the devil. Yeah. Okay, He knows. So he can put thoughts there. He can't make you do anything, but he can put thoughts, and you yeah. can take that thought and start meditating on it and just give in to it mm -hmm. and do what that thought said to do. Amen? So we got to remember to be strong and keep our minds renewed in the, in the, in the, in the Word of God. Amen? So praise Amen. God. Thank you, Carmen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Before we get started, I have a few uh, nuggets I want to read to you. Yeah. <laughs> And listen to these. You can write these down if you want to. But I read this to you uh, last week. I'm going to read it to you again. If you're going to worry, why pray? why pray? And if you're going to pray, why worry? Yeah, that's good. That's good. It makes a lot of sense. Yes, it does. If it's I prayed, good. I gave it to him. Yeah. Your thought in your mind comes. Mm -hmm. He didn't hear you. No. It didn't reach heaven. No. It, God didn't hear you. Yes, so you're going to bring it back and it's going to start recycling. Mm -hmm. But no, if you leave, if you prayed it, mm -hmm. leave it there. Yeah. Amen. You leave it at the cross. Yes. Okay. When you go to the dumpster, you don't bring the trash back with you. Mm -hmm. You leave it in the trash. Mm -hmm. So I'm yeah. giving all, he says, cast all your trash. Yes. Cast all your cares on me oh, because I care for you. Yes. Thank so you. cast it on him. Leave it there. He hurt you. Yes, he did. Okay. He's going to answer you in his timing. Yeah. Not my timing. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. Worrying is worshiping your problem. Mm -hmm. Worrying is worshiping your problem. That's all I'm thinking about is the problem. Or oh. the problems. Prayer is surrendering. We, 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 we're going to be talking about surrendering. Prayer is surrendering your problem to Him. Mm -hmm. We're bringing our problem to Him and casting it on Him. Giving it to Him. Yes. So we're surrendering to him. And I have faith and trust that he's going to do something about yes. it. Yes. And he will. Because we're his children. Yes. Amen. You know, when uh, as a mother, as a father, when your child comes to you and wants something, or they're crying about something, and they need something, you take them and you love on them and you give them what, what they need. Amen. Okay? That's Heavenly Father. We're his children. Mm -hmm. He wants to do the same thing. Yes. So let's remember this. So worshiping is worshiping the... Worrying is worshiping the, the pro your problem. Mm -hmm. Prayer is surrendering your problem. But what do we want to do? We want to surrender it. We don't want to worry about it. <laughs> you still my yeah. pastor, huh? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Man, this is... I'm just worried about the luck now. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this. Make, <laughs> make a difference. Make a difference daily. How am I going to make a difference daily? Yeah. Bless someone yes. with words 
of love, yeah. with words of encouragement, yes. with words of hope, with right. words of, uh, of, of kindness. Uh -huh. Amen. So kingdom seeds, words that produce kingdom fruit. Mm -hmm. right. Man. And you can do this. The Bible says you can do all things all through Christ things who Christ. strengthens you. Yes. Thank you Lord. Make a difference daily. Yes. Today. It's never too late. Mm -hmm. Bless someone with words yes. of kindness, words of love, words of encouragement, mm -hmm. words, words of uh, hope. Yeah. We say, well, I can't, yes, I can't, I don't have anything to give. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You're a child of God. You're uh, uh, a good seed messenger. God, good gospel, good news gospel person going somewhere to happen for somebody. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Remember what we talked about? You're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever yeah. see or hear. Yeah. Or be around. They may never step into a church building, but they'll see you and know yeah. that you. They need to know that right. you're a child of God, right. and you're always bringing the good news. Why do you? What you know? I always like being around you. Why? Because I'm bringing good news. Yeah. And you know, the the Holy Spirit just draws. You know, praise God. Mm -hmm. So these are good nuggets. I want to leave with you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These are nice. They're easy, but we need to learn them, and we need to do this. Don't uh, don't tell your God you have a problem. Mm -hmm. Tell your problem you have a God. Amen. 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 <laughs> and it's going to show what? Yes. In your mind or whatever, but it's still, don't magnify your your problem. Magnify your God. Amen. Let Him know. Say, wait a minute, yes. Lord, I'm giving this to you. This is for you. This is Amen. not for me. You got to be bold. You got to use authority and you say, okay, it's not for me. Lord, this is yours. And when it comes back to you, you say, wait a minute, it's not for me. Mm -hmm. You're talking to the wrong person. I gave it to God. So you go talk to God. You think the enemy is going to go talk to God? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. And one last one. Attending church every Sunday doesn't make you a Christian. Oh. You have to live your life outside the church walls and tell the whole story. Mm -hmm. It's a lifestyle of fellowship, a lifestyle mm -hmm. of surrender, a lifestyle of submission. It's a lifestyle of commitment yes. with him or to him. Yes. So yeah. let's remember that. You are the church. You yes. are the church. This is a building we come to mm -hmm. and assemble ourselves together. But you are the church going somewhere to happen for somebody. Yes. Thank you, Amen. But you have to feel yourself <laughs> If you remember, I think it was <clears throat> last week we talked about the church being a filling station mm. where you come and you gas up and you fill yourself. Mm -hmm. You do this not only in this building, mm -hmm. but when you spend time with Him. Yeah. When you spend time in the Word, you're filling yourself up. Don't yes. let yourself run empty. That's it. Mm. You have responsibility. It's your choice. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a choice of letting your car or truck or whatever you drive run out of gas mm -hmm. and then you can use it. Right. Amen. Yeah. So, if you're not being used, maybe it's because you run out on empty. Yeah. <laughs> and it's time to fill up. Time to fill up. You know, and don't take too far in between mm -hmm. fill ups. You know. All right. Keep yourself full. Yes. Don't let yourself run empty. Amen. Amen. When you get full, he says, "Out of your innermost being shall flow rivers, rivers. of living water." Amen. And you can make the difference for somebody. Yes. Praise God. Thank you. you like my nuggets. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. Well, listen to this before I let you go. <laughs> Leave change. Leave a surrendered person. Leave a new person. Why? Because he's not finished with you. He has great plans for you. None of them include the fruit. He's not finished with me. You got to tell yourself that, Lord, I'm not letting you go. Because you got more for me. Yes. And let him know. He's got more for you. And he's not finished with you. So let's remember that. I want to leave a new person every time yes. I spend time with him. Not only in this place, in this building, but daily at home or yes. at work or driving somewhere. Yes. You can still spend time with him. Uh, yes. Amen. But be a new person. Yes. You come out of there changed. Yes. Man, I'm ready to kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm ready to bless somebody. <laughs> Praise God. Now don't tell me you haven't been there now. Come on. It's only me. <laughs> Am I the only one? <laughs> There's a lot of people out there that say, Lord, just let me lay hands on them. <laughs> just let me lay hands on them. Yeah. And then 
we can bring them back to life, you know. You can, you, you can, you know, resurrect them. No, 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 no. He said, no, we don't want to do that. <laughs> so, surrender, submit, commit. Let us all, let's surrender all to Jesus daily. And the praise team just sang this song. And uh, I have a copy of what they sang. And it says, all to Jesus, I surrender. It says, I. You can scratch the I and put your name on it. Yes. On a daily basis, I surrender all to you, Lord. Everything I got, I give to you. Amen. With Him, we're everything. With Him, we can complete, we can do. Without Him, we cannot. Do nothing. Amen. It <laughs> says, all to Jesus, I surrender. All to Him, I freely give. Yes. Lord, whatever I have, I give to you. Lord. Yes. All I have, all I am, I'm, I'm, I'm surrendering to you. I would ever love and trust Him in His presence daily live. Yes. Life. Amen. So praise God. I surrender all and I surrender all. All to Thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender all. Yes. But you Amen. have to do that for yourself on a daily basis. Yes. You know, you get in front of Him, you know, I don't know what they're saying. Huh. <laughs> Except, thank you. Mm -hmm. Lord, use me. Yes, amen. And he will. Yes, he will. As believers, we're to surrender, submit, commit to Jesus daily. Don't be a prisoner of your past. Yes, it was a lesson, not a life sentence. Right. Don't let your past wreck your presence. Yes, amen. amen. Yes, Don't let the past wreck your presence. Mm -hmm. You know, remember I told you the mind is the battlefield. Yes, it is. Where well, you're still thinking about mm -hmm. all the failures. You're mm -hmm. still thinking about. Uh, all the shortcomings mm -hmm. and your friends and the enemy is going to see to it that he sends friends your way oh, yeah. to remind you mm -hmm. remember I got family members <laughs> mm -hmm. that reminds me mm -hmm. you know so people are going to come around you yes. and tell you and remind you that you're a nobody mm -hmm. but you got to renew your mind yes. I say wait a minute St. Corinthians 5 17 says yes the old, the old is gone, the new is in. So I'm a new creature in Christ. Right, amen. So I'm not believing that. That's See, it. All these negative thoughts come and say, wait a minute, mm -hmm. I gave it to him. I gave it to the Lord. So you go mm -hmm. and talk to him. Yeah. I'm a new creature in Christ. Yeah. Amen. 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 I'm going to renew my mind on a daily basis mm -hmm. and press on with what God has for yes. me. Big or small, it doesn't matter. I'm mm -hmm. serving him. That's and it. I'm pleased to serve him. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be a prisoner of the past. Yeah. It was a lesson, mm -hmm. not a life sentence. That's it. And even if people come and remind you, say, oh, boy. hey man, you know, that's, that's past. That's a past, past thing. Mm -hmm. So we give ourselves completely to Him and trust Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible says to walk by faith by and not by sight. That's it. Amen. So, you, as you fill yourself with the Word of God, you're going to walk in yeah. faith and not in fear. Because yeah. right now, you know, if, if you're just walking in the, in, in the things of the world, mm -hmm. you're going to walk in fear, you know, because you're being bombarded with negative things. And what's oh, going to happen? Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. what's going to happen today? What's going to happen tomorrow? And what's coming? Mm -hmm. And you keep hearing all these things and you're full of these things and you just can't take it anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's time. Renew your mind, give it all to Him, yeah. and start walking with Him. And when you start walking with Him, I'm going to be walking in faith mm -hmm. and not in fear anymore. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Woo! Oh. The words we sing don't always reflect the true condition of our hearts. That's it. After all, these are just words. Huh. <laughs> Let's remember how important words are. Yeah. The Bible says in Proverbs, you can mark that. But Proverbs 20, 18, 21 says this, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yes. Death and life are in the power of the words you speak. Yeah. yeah. That's how important it is. So yes. what are you, what you've been going around sowing? Oh. If you're going around sowing negative things, mm -hmm. then it's time to dig all that up and yeah. start planting positive things. Yes. And confess what the Word of God says about yes. you, not the negative things yes. the world says or what people say. Mm -hmm. Surrender is to give up. Mm. Give up possession of mm. power over. Listen to this one, number two. 
to yield to another, meaning yield or surrender to him. Yeah. Amen. To res uh, uh, re resign oneself. Mm -hmm. It's time I dethrone myself and throw him and put him back on the throne. You know, That's good. some of us do that so constantly, you know. Yes. Or, you know, hey, you failed today, so mm -hmm. I'm going to take you off and I'm going to put myself and I'm going to run my life because you're not running my life the way it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. But he knows you best. That's it. He loves you best and knows the knows all about you, know all your shortcomings, yeah. and still loves you more mm -hmm. than anyone else. Mm -hmm. Remember, God so loved the world, He gave yes. Jesus, sacrificed Jesus for us. Right. Yes. Amen. Yes. For us. Yes. That's how much He loves you. So dethrone yourself and throne Him. <laughs> Amen. Lord, I want you to stay in that throne. Uh -huh. The Bible said that Jesus was taken up, and He went, and He, he was seated at the right hand of God. A place of authority and yeah. he says interceding for us he never forgot about us never will forget about us he says he'll never leave you nor forsake you some yeah. of us forget about him and we start walking and doing our own thing mm. but he says I'll never leave you nor forsake you mm -hmm. remember we're only a step one step away from being with him yes. because we can make an about face and do a turnaround yes. and be with him anytime yes. Amen. Yes. somebody need to hear that somebody. Yes. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> well, we all need to hear that. Yes. But you know, we've been going the wrong way. It's time we walk the right way uh, and do it His way, not our way. His way. <laughs> Amen. So when you do this, when you dethrone yourself, Matthew six thirty three says to seek first the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Yeah. So you know, on a daily basis, mm -hmm. or as often as you want to. I want to set my priorities right. Right. Yeah. I want to set my priorities right. Lord, you're first. Always. Yeah. He's first. Let's do that. Let's not forget about that. You know, because we start serving the world. We start serving things and doing things. Yes. And we forget about him. You know, he blesses us and blesses us and blesses us mm -hmm. to be a blessing. Yes. But sometimes we forget about the bless. We, we forget about the blessed sir. And we get involved with all the blessings. Mm -hmm. We Amen. love the blessings, oh, but we yeah. forget about the blessor yeah. who's blessing us. <laughs> That's not good. That's true. Hallelujah. So I'm going to read, if you want to follow along, Romans 6, 13 through 16. And I'm going to read it from the easier read version. Romans, what? Romans chapter 6, 6, verse 13 through 16. I already Gosh. wrote it out, so... You can uh, read it from your Bible. I know you have different translations out there. So it says this. Don't offer the parts of your body to ser uh, serve sin. Don't use your bodies to do evil. But offer yourselves to God as people who have died and uh, now live. Yeah. Offer the parts of your body to God who have uh, to be used for doing good. Sin will not be your master because you are not under law yes, you now live yes, under God's yes, grace yes. so what should be that what should we do mm -hmm. should we sin because we're under grace mm -hmm. and yes. not under law certainly not right. <laughs> so praise God we're to yes. surrender ourselves totally yes. to him yes. and verse 16 says surely not surely you know that you become the slaves of whatever you give yourselves exactly to. Right. Anything it. or anyone you follow will be your master. Mm -hmm. You can follow sin or you can obey God. Yeah. Following sin brings spiritual death. But obeying God makes you right with yeah. Him. Amen. Yeah. So we want to do the right thing. And we want yeah. to obey Him. So praise God. Sin, we've said it many times. He helped me out. Uh, it says sin will take you longer further than you want to go, go keep you longer than you want to stay and cost you more than you can pay mm -hmm. that's sin and you know sin doesn't come in degrees <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> you know a small sin mm. a medium sin or a big mm. sin no yes. sin is sin, sin. That's, it. <laughs> that's what God says so yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, surrender submit commit to Jesus here, here it is. Let go. What you're doing is surrendering. Let go and let God have his way. Yes. Amen. There's only one highway to heaven. 
Uh -huh. And that highway is Jesus. Mm -hmm. He told us in, in John 14, 6, he says, I am the way, yes. the truth, and the life. He says, nobody goes to the Father except through me. That's it. So if you haven't done it that way, it's mm -hmm. time for you to get saved. Say, mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, you know, I've mm -hmm. sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Because mm -hmm. I want to make heaven. I want to go yes. to heaven. Yes. And you will. But you got to do it his way. You right. know, I can't pay my way. I can't do it any other way except through him. Yes. Woo, it is difficult for people yeah, to understand total surrender. And more difficult to persuade uh, one that is for your own good. It's easier to speak of letting God have his way yes. than to actually let it happen. James 1 and 2 says this. But be ye doers and, uh, of the word and not hearers yes. only. Not hearers deceiving only. your own selves. Right. Amen. I hear it, but I need to do it also. Mm -hmm. I, I, I need to do as well. I need to do I need to obey what the word of God yes. says. Yes. Amen. Amen. So I just can't hear God. I heard the word. Mm -hmm. But now you gotta you got a lifestyle here. Yeah. You gotta hear it and do it. Amen. Amen. So Amen. praise Amen. God. Amen. That's what James is telling us. Yes. What surrender really means is this. <laughs> victory in your life is now. You can have victory in your life now. All you need to do is surrender and make this change. Mm -hmm. Amen. But victory means victory for you. Yeah. Remember, remember that you are victorious. You're not a victim. <laughs> You're a champion, not a loser. That's the way God made you. God didn't put you here to lose. It's the world, the enemy, that's keeping you under and going to keep you under. But when I get, find out, when I get the word in me, I know the truth that's going to set me free from all these things. Yeah. So let's remember that. I have to do something. He done something. Now I got to do something. Yeah. Are you willing to let go of your life and let God have it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, only you can answer that. Are you willing to let it go and let him have it? Amen. He knows what to do best with it. Remember, he put you here. He knows what's best with you. Yeah. And when you check with him on a daily basis, he can give you mm -hmm. things to do yes. and what you need to do. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. Praise God. Uh, he gave him a promised land. Oh, yeah. But you know, in the promised land was many giants. Oh, and there yeah. were things. That's it. Well, in this world are many things out there. Yes. With God, we succeed. Without God, we fail. Mm-hmm. Amen. Lots of giants. Just remember that. There's lots of giants out there. What, what can happen? <clears throat> Are you willing to let go of your life and let God have it? Mm -hmm. Total surrender, total submitment, submitted, and total committed. Mm -hmm. This is what we must do. Surrender your completely involves three areas. Your past, your present, and your future. Yes. Remember, the Bible says that every day, has enough problems of itself. Yeah, so right. why worry about tomorrow? No, you're bringing true. all these extra problems on yourself. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, you don't know what to do. Mm. But he says, Lord, I, I set myself this day to serve you. You know, take all my problems. Yes. You know, I cast all these things on you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't worry about, about tomorrow. And yeah. tomorrow is not guaranteed. That's it. <laughs> oh, that's for sure. That's for sure. So surrender your past. Again, it says what? Don't be a prisoner of your past. It was a lesson, not a life sentence. Yes. Right. Amen. So mm -hmm. you can mark this. Matthew 16, verse 24 through 27. The New Living Translation. Matthew chapter 16, verses 24 through 27. Then Jesus says to his disciples, If any of you mm -hmm. wants to be my followers, you must give up your own way. No oh boy. This in, involves us. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to be his, mm -hmm. we must give up our own way. Take up your cross and follow me. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've been following the wrong crowd. Mm -hmm. If you t if you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for my sake, you will save it. And what do you and what do you benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your own soul? That's it. That's Is anything it. worth more than your soul? 
-hmm. For the Son of Man will come with his angels in, in, in the glory of his Father and will judge all people according to their deeds. Yes. So, you know, we That's told that. This, we told to surrender. We just want yeah. to give it up. Amen. But mark yeah. that, Matthew six, uh, uh, chapter 16, verses 24 yeah. through 27. Mm -hmm. we're, we're talking about surrendering your past. Mm -hmm. Now mark this down, Romans uh, 12, chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Easy to read version. <laughs> Give your lives to God. Mm. Easy. It says this. So I beg you, brothers and sisters, because the great mercy of God has shown us Offer your lives as a living sacrifice to Him, mm -hmm. an offering that is only uh, for God and pleasing to Him. Mm -hmm. Consider what He has done. It is only right that you should worship Him in His this way. Yeah. Don't change yourselves to be like the people of this world, Amen. but let God change you inside with a new way of thinking yes renewing your mind amen we must renew our mind on a daily basis you're yes. bombarded by all kinds of negative oh, things yeah. all kinds of things to think oh about gosh. we need to go and <laughs> clean ourselves amen. renew ourselves give us yes. ourselves a, a spiritual bath yes that's good amen clean ourselves mm -hmm. renew our minds with the word of god mm -hmm. a new way of thinking then you will be able to understand and accept what god wants for you if you don't, you're not going to accept. You're not going to know. There's so many voices out there yeah. speaking, wanting your attention. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I don't even know when it, when it's gone. Hmm. All these voices are talking. Well, you oh, know what? Boy. Clean them out. Yeah. Renew your mind. Yes. So you can hear God. God is telling yeah. you to do the right thing. Yeah. All the others are telling you to do wrong. No. <laughs> yeah. You will be able to know what is good and pleasing to him and what is perfect yeah so that's romans chapter uh, 12 verses 1 and 2. i've told you this many times also is when you go study the bible when you go read the bible read a, a verse mm -hmm. or, or a chapter use a different translation mm -hmm. or if you just study in one verse use different translations yes. and study it Amen. here's Amen. another one philippians chapter 3 verses 12 through 14. easy to read version. <laughs> That's Pastor's favorite. <laughs> I use King James too. <laughs> Verse 12 says, I don't mean that I'm exactly what God wants me to be. I'm not what I'm a, I'm not exactly what God wants me to be right now. I have not yet reached that goal. But I continue trying to reach it by making it mine. Yeah. That's what Christ Jesus wants me to do. Making it mine. Yeah. I'm going to make this goal mine. Yes, amen. Yeah. And I'm going to complete and do what God wants me to do. Yes, amen. amen. It is the reason he made me his. Brothers and sisters, I don't know that I still have a long way. I, I still have a long ways to go. Mm -hmm. But there is one thing I do. Mm -hmm. I forget what is in the past. Yes. And I try as hard as I can to reach the goal before yes. me. Amen. I try as hard as I can to forget the past. Yes. Some of us need to do that. Yeah. Let's forget the past. You know, yeah. we got great memories. There's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with memories, of, of good memories. <laughs> but let's forget the past mm -hmm. shortcomings. Let's forget the past yes. failures that people always remind you of these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the enemy's always bringing it up to oh, you. Yeah. It's time, you know, give yourself mind a spiritual bath and, and get it out there and let it go. Mm -hmm. Amen. God's not keeping us here. We're keeping mm -hmm. ourselves there by thinking it over yeah. and not renewing our minds and not getting rid of it. That's it. Amen. Okay. Yeah, that's good. But there's one thing I do. I forget what is in the past and I try as hard as I can to reach the goal before me. I keep running towards, yeah. I keep running hard towards the finish line mm -hmm. to get the prize that is mine because God has called me through Christ Jesus mm -hmm. To live up there in heaven. Mm -hmm. So God has promised us heaven. But we have to surrender, submit, yes. and commit ourselves to him right. in order to fulfill what he wants us to do. Amen. And make heaven. Amen. He's the highway to heaven. And we're following him because I'm on the straight and narrow. And that's on his highway. 
Amen. Mm -hmm. He's my GPS, and I'm focused on him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. You writing these down? Proverbs <laughs> chapter three, verses five and six. This is the New King James. Yeah. Proverbs chapter three, verses five and six. It says, "Trust in the Lord with all your, all your heart, heart. Mm -hmm. and lean not to your own understanding. That's it. In all your ways acknowledge Him, yeah. and He will direct your path." Okay. Amen. So surrender, submit, mm -hmm. commit. Yeah. You don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. You surrender yourself to Him, yes. and He is going to tell you what to do. Yeah. Amen. He's going to tell you what to do. You know, say, well, I don't, I don't hear from God. Mm. Well, you need to surrender yourself. Yes. Stop all these other voices. <laughs> Stop all these distractions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yes. surrender yourself to Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Absolutely. Because yes. He wants to use. I guarantee you, He put you here yeah. to use you. Yeah. We're His voice in this world. Mm -hmm. You can't use nobody else. Yes. We're the body of Christ. Right. So, God is going to use His body mm -hmm. to fulfill what needs to be done. That's he it. says, we're ministers of reconciliation. Yes. We're his, we're, we're his ambassador. Yeah. His mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. So he's going to use you. He's going to speak through you. Yes. Praise God. Your yes. past is dead and gone. Yes. Sin, yes. sin is forgiven, yes. But some of these sins are still being carried around. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. How are these sins uh -oh. being, being, being carried around? Well, uh -huh. the, the thief... The enemy, the devil, <laughs> he's going to send as many people available for him yeah. to come around you That's it. and remind you of all your sins, of all your past. We just got to know to let it go and renew our minds so we don't give in to that again. I'm not going there again. Amen. And they'll up, you know. I'm not going there again. It's gone. If it's gone, it's gone. But the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy and will use anyone available. If you're not for God, you're his. You're the enemy's. And he's going to use you. <laughs> the past has not been forgotten. If you don't let go, then let God. Yeah. If you don't let go and let God, the past is still there. John 10, yeah. 10 says what? The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Jesus says, I have come that you might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. He wants to bless you. He wants you to live life abundantly. Not just struggling through. Amen. Pastor, it's too bad and awful for me to do any work for the Lord. See? That's when your friends come around and tell you yeah. that you're nobody, you're no good. Huh. And God can't use you anymore huh. because of what you did. Huh. All of what you did, you know, hey. That's bad. God, you're useless. God can't yeah. use you anymore. So you might as well just say, no. quit, surrender, give yourself. The world wants you. Mm. You know, you, you know, he's given up on you. No, no that's yet. not true. That's not, that's not yeah. true. <laughs> we quit and surrender to the world and the enemy. We, we must not do that. Mm. Talk to him. Confess your past. Give it to him. Let God and let go. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you gotta, you gotta write this down. Let God, mm -hmm. let go, and let God. Let go and let God. God will forgive you your sins, your past. It is gone. Why keep on remembering your forgiven past Amen. and letting it interfere with your service to the yes. Lord now? Yeah. yeah. Amen. You must forgive yourself mm -hmm. and let the past go. Mm -hmm. Listen, somebody really needs this. <laughs> yeah. Somebody really needs this. If God can forgive you and forget about it, mm -hmm. why are you still remembering? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Why are you still bringing it up? Mm -hmm. It's the enemy, the accuser of yes. the brethren. <laughs> this keeps bringing it up. And you know what? I see, I've told you this many times. I prayed. I said, Lord, help me. Get rid of my enemies. I started losing friends. Yes. Yes. I started losing friends. Mm -hmm. I say, what? Sometimes God's going to bring the right people your way. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's going to bring the right people your way that's going to help you for a season, 
-hmm. Some short, some longer. Yeah. But he's going to bring the right people your way that's going to help you. Yes. And that's the right kind of friends you need. Somebody that's going to encourage you, yeah. help you on the way, mm -hmm. and not just bring you down and be jealous and say negative things about you. That's it. Amen. Oh man, somebody really needs this. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we won't be able to get to the end of it, so I'm not going to try to finish. All right. But, listen, um, God will forgive you your sins and your past. It's gone. But we need to remember that. And we need to forgive ourselves and let yes. go of it. It is bad to have uh, sin, yes. But it's also terrible to let the past sin block your present service mm -hmm. for the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. I wrote this. Confess it and forget it. Yeah. Admit it and quit it. And quit it. <laughs> okay, yes, I did it. But it's past. I admit it and quit it. It's not going to happen anymore. And don't let the enemy bring it back to you. Mm -hmm. Or friends or whoever. Say, yeah. you know what? <clears throat> You're talking to a new person. Mm -hmm. yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, New creature. New creature in Christ. Mm -hmm. You had a spiritual birth on the inside. You're yeah. a new person, a new, a new, a new creature in Christ. Had a, a <laughs> spiritual birth. <laughs> yes. Amen. They still see me mm -hmm. as the same me they see on the outside. But on the inside, I'm a yes. new person. New creature. New creature. <laughs> I've surrendered. I've changed. <laughs> I'm a new person in Christ. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Accepting yourself, take an inventory now, and confess all sins. Don't let the past wreck your present. That's it. Don't be a prisoner of your past. Mm -hmm. Remember what Peter did. I will close it here. Remember what Peter did. Hmm. If you never read the story, hmm. when the gospel says, uh, Peter fell to the lowest of his life when he denied Jesus three mm -hmm. times. Oh he was gosh. willing to go and fight for him. Yeah. But then Jesus looked at him mm -hmm. and says, you know, before this night is over, you'll deny me three times. Mm -hmm. and, he did. and when they came, the soldiers came mm -hmm. and says, you're one of them. He says, uh-uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. How about your friends come to you and say, hey, you one of them Christians? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you got to let them know, yes, I'm a Christian. <laughs> I'm a believer. <laughs> mm -hmm. you, have, you have any prayer, come to me. <laughs> he denied Jesus three times but listen if that was the fact people telling you God can't use you anymore oh. they don't know That's it. because the Bible says that he preached at Pentecost mm -hmm. yeah. Jesus got him to preach at Pentecost yeah. in thousands came and gave their lives to God. Amen. So if Jesus, if he denied Jesus, mm -hmm. Jesus would have said, I can't use you anymore. Mm -hmm. You're out of here. You wouldn't have used him anymore. So somebody told you this, it's a lie. Yeah. God, he wants to use you. You know what? We sin, we fall, but it's time to confess, get up, dust yourself, and press on with him. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't allow yourself to, to stay down. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So don't give up. You know why? God's not finished with you. <laughs> That's it. Don't give up. Don't quit. God's not finished with you. Just stay focused on. Stay focused with Him. Make yourself available and say, Lord, what can I do? Amen. Amen. So praise God. We're in close right there. Praise God. Thank Amen. you, Lord, for your word. Help us, Lord, to stay focused on you. Yes. Thank and you. What you want us to do, Father. Praise yeah. you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So we can be hearers and doers of your word, Lord. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Well, praise God. If you're hurting anywhere, God is able. He said, Jesus put stripes on his back. The Bible says, by Jesus' stripes, you are healed. So whatever it is, he knows about it. Father, you know your people, and yes. you know where they're hurting, Father. Yes. And I pray for them, Father, right now. By Jesus' stripes. Your only and begotten Son, mm -hmm. they are healed, Father mm -hmm. God. From the crown of the head to the soul yes, of the feet, Father. Feet. In thank Jesus you, precious name, we thank you, Lord. And you know what you have to do? Receive your healing. Lord, I receive my healing right now in Jesus' mm -hmm. name. That's what you got to do. Receive it. Amen. Amen. So praise God. And it's time to give. If you're watching and listening, it's
you can still give. You just yes. go to our website, NBCBigBang.com, and press that donate button. If you're yes. mailing it, NBC, PO, NBC uh, PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Amen. So just want to let you know God loves you and we love you. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord.